Hey everyone, welcome back again. So folks, how can you use the best of the prompt engineering and the best of the chat GPT-4, chat GPT plus to create a website? Now I've told you a bunch of stuff till this moment, YouTube, getting jobs, solving problems and whatnot, logos and all of that, designs, content, all of that. But the fact that I haven't taught you till this very moment was the website, how to build a website with chat GPT. And folks, for someone who's a non-coder like me, I don't know to code at all. Like I can read some basic codes in Python and all of that. I can code a little, little, little bit, but I'm not at all a coder, a programmer. If I need a website, what shall I do? And probably what I've seen is that 90% of my students, probably more than that, are non-programmers so what are they going to do if they have to create a website even if it's a dummy website it doesn't matter so folks there's a gpt for that it's called and folks by the way i haven't tried these things before i'm just trying this for the very first time because when i'm recording this thing gpt has launched this new thing called gpt store which has a bunch of gpts created by other fellow chat gpt users or companies whatever so folks, this was my prompt, create a website, high tech, trendy, modern of AI agency names, named Phoenix AI, which makes every other company an AI friendly using company with the best of AI tools, make five to seven pages of it. So folks, it was a crisp, detailed, easy and to the point prompt. Okay. Because I don't know how this would work. So I haven't put in a an advanced prompt and a detailed one. I just put in some advanced, some basic, some little here, there mixture and put it up. So folks, this is what the GPT did for me. It gave me this thing, it gave me four pages, seven pages actually. Homepage about us, services, case study, blog, contacts, FAQ. So folks, it gave me a bunch of pages and then it gave me a pseudo code outline. It's a dummy code outline. It would not work if you code it, okay? If you copy it. And then it said, hey, you know what? Now let's start coding process. I'll, I'll create the in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for these pages. So these are three programming languages that it used. So the home page of Phoenix AI is structured. You can view the initial HTML here. And then it went with the, okay, so this was the home page. Then it went with a CSS style. You can download it here. Then it went with some JavaScripts. And then it went with something else. So folks, let's see what it can do with the HTML. So folks, HTML is basically, yeah, it will, it will be a file actually. And probably it, it wouldn't, oh God. That was really dumb. But folks, I'm like, fine. Like, what the hell can you expect more from an AI thing? It was like, okay, but probably I didn't like it, obviously. So folks, now what we are going to do is that we are going to chat GPT. And we, actually, we are going to copy our prompt from here. Uh, here we have it. So we have, we, so we save our time. So here we have it. So I'm going to copy my prompt, I'm going to chat GPT-4 and I'm going to paste that entire prompt and I'm going to, go, I'm going to be like produce, uh, actually produce these with doll E, doll E now. So folks, now it's going to create, it's going to produce all of these seven pages for my website Phoenix AI with doll E. So folks, with Dolly, what happens is that it's going to actually give you seven different images, literally seven different images that you can work with that and you can see. And once the images have been loaded, we can view it as and when required. So it's going to take its time. And here we have it. It has started creating web uh, images. And the moment it's done creating with images, what will happen is, um, what will happen is we can view it and view, we can see. If you want some edit, you can code them and you're like, hey, you know what? This page is a little dark, make it a little white or vice versa, whatever. So the first page is up, folks. This is our first page. Look at this page, folks. Look at this. Actually, folks, here's the problem with my dolly. What happens is that sometimes when I click here and I'm, when I'm recording my lectures, it just keeps blinking the image. So I'm going to zoom this thing up so you can see it and I don't face a problem in post-production. Here we have it, folks. Here we have it. I'm going to keep the cursor away. Here's the first page. It says, make every pant AI. Okay, it would be every one, but it said every pant, whatever. But the graphics are quite fantastic, folks, with just some basic and advanced prompts. Let's see the next one. This is a, okay. So the second page needs to come up. This is the second page. Oh, folks, look at that. This is pretty, pretty good. It's like, hey, the founder is here. I'm not going to use my cursor. 
and then you have the entire team here look at that folks this is pretty darn cool very cool literally this this can if this is a website folks i am spending at least five minutes whether or not i'm interested in phoenix ai or not this is pretty good and then you have the third page so this is these are the services this folks exactly looks like the website one would like to have and you can now use it now this is the third one which is pretty pretty basic pretty good and now just the moment while i was explaining third one it has created the fourth one so this is the fourth one folks not that intuitive because i see a lot of spelling mistakes here but okay we'll manage with that it's like an eight out of ten but still the graphics are pretty good pretty good and now the fifth image is going to load the sixth and the seventh one but folks if you look overall it is done a pretty pretty good job and what you can do is that you can actually because they worked hard on that you can download these images for free and you can actually use them for commercial purposes it's completely your creation and that's the best part about that so folks this is uh, the f i don't know this is a blog page maybe i i don't know if i ask for the blog page let's see Just give me a second did I ask for the blog page? Uh, yeah, we have it. The fifth one is the blog page. Here we have it, folks. The fifth one is the blog page. Okay, so the blog page. It it just pronounced blog in a very pathetic way. It just destroyed the entire feeling, but fine. It's good. It gives me a feeling of folks. Like, you had this when internet was new, and someone, I don't know, it was someone's idea, but someone just tried to imitate the newspaper on the internet, and you had news like this. If you actually go to my Microsoft Edge right now, which is my other tab, I'm using the Microsoft. This is exactly how it is, folks. This is uh, this is exactly how the interface is. It looks like a little newspaper, but not exactly. But this this one, my dear, actually looks like a newspaper, and which is pretty good. If we can do a little bit of basic here and there, this would make a pretty good website. Okay. So now let's go to the last two pages of the website. This is our contact us pages, which is again, quite, quite good. I would say this would take an average programmer, literally days of programming, but these stuff, these guys have done a pretty, pretty good job with uh, the editing and all of that. And with the creation of graphics, folks, it would take a graphic designer to create so much, forget about a programmer to create a website. But they have done a pretty good job. And the last image is probably not loading. We can regenerate that. And maybe we'll get something out of it. Oh, no. So, folks, actually something happened. With ChatGPT is messed up with the seventh image of our website. And it didn't load. So, I prompted it to do it one more time. And by the time it prompts up, I'll just... Give you one more overview of how this thing looks okay here we have it here we have it folks this is the first this was the first one second one which i i like the second one the most okay so it has it has started putting one more prompts okay so this was the which page is this okay they have created one more folks look at this page look if you have a website like this, just tell me honestly, would you, would you tip the programmer or the graphics designer or not? I would literally tip 100% of what they would, should have got. Because this is, folks, completely out of the world. I don't know how if you can feel this or not, folks. You'll not feel this, folks, completely if you don't do it by yourself. I did it by myself just right now, live on this recording, and it's quite good, folks. It's quite good. So folks, yeah, that was uh, probably it from this lecture. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got questions, do let me know. And I don't know why this just image didn't load the last one. But probably the ones which loaded have uh, impressed the heck out of me. So yeah, and actually, I'll show, you a, I'll show you an image before we move on to the next lecture. And just to show you how, look at this one, folks. How cool that looks when you put it in full screen. Look at this, folks. This is crazy good crazy good like for sure and because i said ai look at this a human brain imitating the ai with the robots uh, or the bots uh, body whatever pretty good pretty good folks folks that was it from this one and i'll uh, see you in the next lecture thank you mm -hmm.